My name is Joey Holback. I am the Regional Ag Tech Specialist. I cover our Fresno branch along with Waterford, uh, and I work very closely with Doug and Jonah. So we're out here in one of the NCJ contest fields that we have. We made the decision to replant earlier, and now we're back here today with the pogo stick from Precision to try to assess the stand. We know it come up extremely even. We know it come up very well, um, comparative to how the first planting come up after the rain that we had. So with I've got Joey Hall back here. He's, he's our Precision lead in our geography through Heritage, and Joey's gonna do an, a stand assessment today with the pogo stick. Yeah, so a little bit about the pogo stick. It doesn't just evaluate stand. This is basically a report card for your entire planter. So we're not just checking if our meter did well. There's a lot of other things that go into getting a good stand of corn. So that could be if we have a lot of trash in the row, it could mean row cleaners. Or do we have enough downforce if where there's uneven emergence or we have excess downforce. So we are gonna do a pogo. Uh, this device, it'll measure each corn plant our spacing between each plant as we go down our row. Uh, it'll give us if it's the plant is one leaf behind, two leaves behind, or if that's at the same growth stage as the rest of our field. So basically I'll go down this row and measure at each plant if it is at the correct growth stage or if it's one leaf behind or two leaves behind. If the plant is one leaf behind, that plant is only gonna produce a half of an ear. If the plant is two leaves behind, that plant will not produce any ear, and then it becomes a weed. We want even emergence across our entire field. And how we get that is having a good meter, having the correct downforce with the correct planting depth, and we get a good close on our, on our furrow. So after our pogo run, we uh, had five skips, but that's not the true story or the full story. We're gonna go ahead and dig at these skips to make sure they're true skips, or maybe see what exactly went wrong. Uh, we're going to go ahead and dig this skip, Doug. Let me get my little knife here. You call that a knife? This here's a knife. <laughs> so as you can see, as I clear these large clods away, we have a plant that just slightly hasn't emerged yet. And the reason why that be is couldn't get through this hard dirt. So that wasn't a true skip. That was just a lady merger. So after reviewing our precision planting pogo uh, summary, we had a population of 33.3 thousand. And after talking with the grower, uh, our, he planted at 33.5. So we're real close there, good stand. Uh, we only had two multiples in this field and five skips. Uh, when we went and dug those five skips, we ended up finding three seeds that just had not germinated or were late germination. So we actually only had two true skips on the planter. Our singulation percentage was 93%. Our nominal spacing and nominal spacing is basically our average spacing across all 100 plants. And that was six inches. So that's exactly where we want to be. Thank you. 